We're up here in Tallahassee because we, um, we believe in free markets. We agree with AFP. We don't feel that the government should be able to choose winners and losers. And we don't, as a mother and an activist in Broward County, we don't want to see rate increases. We can't afford it. Thanks. Any other questions? Yeah, Steve Stewart with Tallahassee Reports. Um, I'm a little confused here. Are, are you guys speaking against the Florida for Solar Choice Amendment? Absolutely not. That. No, absolutely not. We're okay. talking about the policy initiatives as in general. Okay, so it's, you're not you're not against. Uh, so you're not. Do you have a position on that initiative? No. Currently, I'll take that. Currently, we do not have a position on that initiative because we're really just focused on general energy policy across okay. the board. You know, uh, one of the questions that I know I've addressed with Mr. Penn over the weekend, I believe, was you know what we thought about that. Well, we don't have a thought specifically about the initiative. We have a thought about. Picking winners and losers in general, the legislature does it frequently, and so does the it, so using the Constitution is not uh, a good opportunity as well to do that. And we're just paying attention, you know, like he said, it, like Mr. Penn said, it's a hypothetical right now. As far as I know, there's no ballot uh, amendment, and so we're just talking about the general policies. I think there's somewhere in the 20 to 30 bills been filed in the legislature on solar. So you know, this is a broad-based conversation on solar and and energy in general. Okay, one more.